Welcome guys, another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some uh, with some wild deck. I'll just call it uh, this way uh, to simplify things up. Uh, we're gonna be playing some. Uh, I won't play a swordman, which mm, I I don't know what to do about this uh, thing because he may be playing symmetry. I think he's gonna be playing a symmetry deck. We'll never know if we don't try to play something against it. I think I'm gonna try to get a kite, and there we go, we get a perfect kite against Flying Robot. That's what I was expecting, that he's gonna like pull out some crazy stuff like Flying Robot. And we definitely get a read right here. I'm gonna try to get a uh, Footman Keck against the Skeleton Hut. I think that was uh, good enough, because right now we get a basically dead brute, but my mother devil still will spawn a devil. There we go. We get a sufficient counterplay just to counteract his uh, nasty actions. Uh, we don't have bullets, unfortunately, so we'll have to protect our uh, flying robot a bit. Uh, so that uh, the super devil won't absolutely wreck us. I think we get away with pretty nice defense right here. And yeah, like my opponent will be playing Flying Robot, so basically in this matchup you obviously can play Mana Collectors, but a uh, uh, way better way of playing will be just counterplaying every single time that your opponent will be playing uh, anything like Flying Robot in the back, because right now he will have pretty much no mana to defend, and if your opponent has no mana to defend, it's gonna be very easy to get damage. Uh, I actually missed time the uh, bullets. I would love to get them on time. Uh, that's gonna suck a bit, but it's not too big of a deal since I'm gonna just get my uh, plan going anyway. I'm gonna play some phone horn to get more damage. I'm gonna get my mother devil. I basically I'm trying to basically get away with any uh, kind of sort of defense. And if I hold this tower, it's gonna be already a big win for me. Even though he gets a flying bomb on the end, I don't think it's too bad for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go for a, a super devil in the back. He's gonna go for a uh, basically all in. So I'm gonna just all in him back. With some symmetry, I think yeah he's gonna actually get away with a very nice defense because the symmetry is uh, very weak against Bomber. I still get a nice damage which I'm very proud of, it's like half a tower. I expected way less so it's already a win in my books. I'm gonna play uh, some Mother Devil and uh, Super Devil, he's gonna get a Flying Bomber value but like I don't really mind it since I'm gonna just go for a, uh, for a uh, Brute Cemetery once again, uh, he's gonna play some uh, very nice spells uh, to maybe prevent all the damage, but then I'm gonna just play a uh, um, Devil Horde, uh, I mean, uh, not, not a Devil Horde, uh, a uh, Phone Horde at the bridge. And the bullets will be enough since they do deal 116 damage. So pretty shaky game right here, but it was against a good player, so I'll take it. Uh, Flying Robot usually should be a easy matchup for a uh, brute uh, if you don't play a mana collector, because once you play mana collector, they basically tower trade you, and if you cannot get a uh, tower back in time, it's gonna be very tough for you to ever come back. Also, very lucky for me that my opponent was playing Swordsman and not uh, Footman, because this version is uh, way more annoying for my deck. And the next game of today's video will be played against Kobe Helicopter, who I frankly don't know who it is, but probably rightfully so, because he has zero mails. And he's gonna actually start with Mother Devils, which I don't think is too bad of a play. I'm gonna play Brute, uh, just to start trading against my opponent. Uh, for better or for worse, we're gonna find out. He actually gets a better of me in these trades, as he gets a very unexpected freeze. And yeah, I probably should have played this uh, Super Devil sooner, but I didn't expect him to get uh, so aggressive. And I think <coughs> it was a very equal trade at the very beginning of the game, so I'm not uh, disappointed in this. Uh, obviously, I have to be a bit careful since he... I don't, I don't have idea what this was for, but I'm gonna just play Mana Collector. There's absolutely nothing I should be worried about because he just wasted 2 mana for no reason and 
I know that my opponent will be uh, uh, loving to play uh, in a more of a beatdown style, so I might as well just play this. I'm gonna play Mar Devil to counter the Scout Horn. I'm gonna play Brook uh, in front of her just to protect her. And right now, I think I'm gonna actually. Okay. I'm gonna wait for my opponent to spawn a second Devil for this Mother Devil. And then I'm gonna play Bullets to finish it off. And my Brute still has some health. My Devils are absolutely alive and running on my opponent's tower. It's gonna be excellent offense. So, uh, obviously, we're gonna be playing another Mana Collector. Since my opponent didn't uh, counter the first one, there's uh, no reason to assume that he's gonna counter the second one. I'm gonna actually play a Mother Devil to counter the Skeleton Horde. Once again, uh, absolutely ignore the Bone Blasters because there's no reason for me to address them. Uh, if anything, uh, playing uh, aggressively like this will be the best uh, play for me because I have basically two pumps and it is him that has to like be responsive to my threats uh, except the other way around. So I'm gonna actually play a, a worst uh, foot pancake of my life because I didn't expect this uh, skill for to turn and do absolutely nothing. I'm gonna play another brute, uh, Cemetery just to make his life miserable and rethink his life decisions and that's gonna be absolutely the game set match for this game number two. Let's just jump to the game number three and uh, yeah, let's jump to game number three. And my next opponent will be Adele with, uh, I hope I, I pronounce it uh, properly, with five levels he's gonna start with a Bomberman so I suppose my opponent will be playing some sort of uh, a default deck and here it is default deck on a silver platter and a very important thing to keep in mind is that actually a, a bomberman and bomb skeleton will be a nuisance for our uh, normal push so we we'll have to be very careful how we want to play it out uh, i think okay that was very suboptimal if you ask me so basically my idea was uh, my opponent's uh, Bomb Skeleton will reach my tower if I don't react, so I wanted to just play a Devil Horde and counter attack. But since he played a Steel Hammer at the bridge for apparently no reason, um, he kinda got away with it. Also, my opponent will be playing a Missile, so um, definitely not a spot where we want to be. Uh, I'm gonna play Brute in the back. Probably, probably also fine play would be to just go Brute Cemetery at the bridge, but since he played a Missile on my Mana Collector, I don't feel like super confident about my mana situation, so I might as well just not do it. Uh, I'm gonna play a Mother Devil in the back, so that she spawns Devils, and um, yeah, uh, hopefully they won't be like blitz immediately uh, uh, by this Bomberman. Unfortunately they do, but like, it's life. Hopefully this Mother, mother Skelt, I mean Mother Devil, Okay, she won't uh, kill it off, so that's gonna be actually a very uh, tough defense for me to pull off. <clears throat> Hope I'm gonna be absolutely ready with everything that I have. Uh, I'll have to suck some of these uh, T-Rex uh, shots, that's unfortunate. There's, actually, there's unfortunately nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna play another Mana Collector and uh, right now I don't feel like super confident about my position but it's not uh, like too bad as well so i'm gonna just play brute on the opposite side play cemetery at this point i'm uh, having a very nice attack then i have to figure out how to defend my opponent's push but i don't think it's gonna be too difficult uh, i get a tower down which is absolutely perfect i'm gonna defend my opponent's push and that's gonna be absolutely perfect situation to be in since Right now he pretty much have, has to uh, all in himself into me, uh, which like I've said is perfect case scenario for me because I can just kite everything with wood. I can play bullets on the skeleton horde. That's gonna be prime position for me to just chill out, defend, and basically claim the win. Those was very close. Like I've said, my opponent had definitely a good ways to counter my deck, especially like Mother Devil gets absolutely shut down. Uh, by a Bomberman. Uh, Bomb Skeleton is always good against tanks, like against Dark Knight, against Brute, against uh, uh, against General, 
uh, and stuff. Not against Viking, but like against like uh, low damage or no damage tanks. Uh, Bomb Skeleton is very good. And he had a, a Steel Hammer against Cemetery, so definitely not an easy match, but my opponent kind of misplayed it, so I was able to take that. GG I played, let's jump to game number four. And the next game of today's video will be against the Jika, who. Uh, I at least hope so that he's not referencing the band word, but if he does, well, there's nothing I can do about it uh, anyway, so I may as well accept the reality. I'm gonna play a fawn horde behind this a footman just to force out uh, him playing on our response. Uh, I'm gonna play Mar uh, Devil in the back, just because why not? He's gonna go for a holy cow, that, that was aggressive. Uh, for some aggressive Digger Poison Bomb Blasters, and I think at this point he spent a lot of mana uh, at the bridge, not knowing what was my deck, and that's why we're gonna just play a, a Brute with Cemetery and Mother Devil, and uh, the reason why was it possible was because he was absolutely aggressive on the opposite side, he got his damage, but I got it back, and with a dividends, absolutely uh, this was a trade that was definitely worth it. Uh, he's gonna go for it once again, which I don't think is a good trade. I'm gonna just play a bullet on it. And since my opponent revealed he uh, is playing poison, I'm gonna play a mana collector behind my tower because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a missile. If he does, well, nice knowing my mana collector, but at the same time, I think there's no uh, real reason to just distrust it. I'm gonna play Mother Devil in the back. Very standard play, I don't think it's bad, even if it does bait out a poison here, I'm, I still be, will be very fine with this. Okay, that was a very nice poison, I'm gonna just drop a nice play and misplay it uh, for a good game once again. I'm gonna play my cemetery and very late brute because uh, apparently I'm not getting any mana from my mana collector, but it's fine because my opponent still will die to this push and yeah, that's gonna... He, throws a rolling steel in the middle, he calls good game because frankly there's nothing he can do to even take one tower, let alone two, let alone three, so that would, that would be pretty easy matchup, my opponent was definitely over ag overly aggressive and he should be like more patient, recognize what wa was my deck about, he wasn't and that's why I take a very sweet dub, let's jump to the last game of today's video. And the last game of today's video will be against Elias, who plays a Viking first play in the back. That's obviously a nice play if your opponent cannot like counter play you on the opposite lane instantly, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Trying to force out a lot of mana from him on defense, so I can just basically clean up this Viking for free. That's basically the way you want to be facing Viking. If you can get away with it, it's gonna be always worth it. And I hope I'm gonna actually get away with it because it was scary for a second. He actually gets a better of me in this trade, but it doesn't really matter since uh, at least I know his deck and he knows my deck. And I didn't, I didn't have like the perfect punish uh, hand, so uh, I had to improvise and play Super Devil with my Viking. I mean, with my brute. And that's definitely not like a super optimal setup. I'm gonna play Mana Collector because he, in worst case scenario I can just kite his Viking at the bridge. There's no reason I should be panicking. And there we go, he is actually playing Viking at the bridge, which means uh, that I'm gonna be kiting it with my uh, Brute. He's gonna actually be playing... Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't expect this steel hammer to survive for so long, but like, that's life. Uh, he's gonna actually get a very nice uh, trace with this viking. I hope he doesn't have like uh, one more spell to finish me out. And that's gonna be actually a very good start for my opponent, Elias with 31 medals, getting the barrel of me. But right now, I'm gonna just play second mana collector and I don't uh, see him ever like being... Uh, uh, having like positive mana against me, so I'm gonna just try to capitalize on that. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna actually play Mother Devil on the stronger side. Okay, and he's now playing a, a Viking on the in the back. I'm gonna play just Brute and Cemetery. And right now he has to, okay, <laughs> he has to commit the second Viking. So he's gonna pretty much get away with this defense because he surprised me with the mirror. Definitely a call I didn't expect. 
But right now, I don't think what is his play because I'm gonna just repeat the exact same play. I'm gonna just play Brute and Mother Devil. And as soon as I get it, I'm gonna play Cemetery. Uh, I'm gonna also play Bullets, just preemptively predicting his Skelp Horde. And I get most of it, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna get a power down. Uh, and that's gonna be pretty much game because I don't see him uh, beating me ever in the uh, last uh, 13 seconds. He actually mirrors Fonz, which is, uh, I, won't, I won't say smart play, but it was probably the best he could come out, come up with uh, in a hit of a moment. Uh, GG is nice played and it's gonna be very cool in game to wrap this video up because most people will struggle against Viking with this deck and that's pretty much the uh, good way of explaining at least what are the correct plays against Viking. Obviously you can always kite the Viking with a Brute, that's a, a nice play if you uh, have like relatively uh, even mana with your opponent. Uh, you can also like play a Fawn Horde, very good uh, play, but to do that you have to make sure that your opponent doesn't have like spells to immediately delete it because then you are left without any uh, single response so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you aren't already because i post uh, a boomerang the content every single day and you definitely don't want to miss it out so yeah check my channel and if you aren't i advise you to subscribe because you may learn something from my content in the future or from previous videos i obviously advise you to check them out as well so yeah thanks for watching till the end i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of marina